Welcome back guys. So today we are going to do the Elysio Seaboard. It's a mission very similar to Gates of Krita. Both of them are full of undead. So it's advised to bring some form of holy damage. This is why I choose a Ray of Judgment Monk in the first place. Then you can even bring two or three of them. Anyway, the rest of my party was a Beep Necro, two E Surge Mesmers and the Signet of Spirits Ritu. The main task here is to protect Confessor Dorian from the arriving undeads and the bonus is to carry an offering to the statue of Melandru. Best tip for martial professions, bring Heart of Holy Flame, this skill will convert your damage to holy damage, which deals double against undeads. Another tip, don't attack if you are hexed with ineptitude, either wait till heroes remove it or wait till it wears off. Besides, some sort of interrupt is useful against the Skeleton Sorcerers, also I recommend a Zoran scan against the blinding skills and speed boost for the Dorian part. At the beginning of the mission we are going to fight two groups of Grasping Ghouls, they are weak opponents, good for practice maybe. Make sure you activate Heart of Holy Fame if you play a melee character. Then we face some Skeleton Mesmers and Rangers, the former deal big amount of damage with Ineptitude, so stop attacking if you get hexed with it. Two Zombie Warlocks come next, they cause no trouble at all. And after that a group of Skeleton Sorcerers, don't worry of the blinds, because heroes will do the job here. Ok, so from this point on we focus on Benji Makala, he must survive the next fights in order to start the bonus. Normally this should not be too hard, but highly recommended to kill the boss he is fighting and follow him afterwards. We got to clear out this village anyway, completely out of the undead. And I tend to kill the warlocks as quickly as I can to prevent minion creations. Once all mobs are dead, talk to Benji and continue the mission. Turns out the gatekeeper NPC is the brother of Benji. He is grateful for saving his brother's life and will let us through. But if you let Benji die, the gate will stay closed, meaning you fail the bonus. Following the road we are going to fight several groups of Skeleton Sorcerers and Mesmers. These can be quite annoying moments for melees, but heroes will save the day as always. And finally we reach the Melandru offering, unfortunately the bridge is destroyed and we must find a way around. Pick up the offering, but you must not drop it or it will break. If you did, don't worry, you can get a new one, no worries. You can even clear mobs first and come back for the offering later, it's up to you. So guys, I believe the next minute or two is the hardest part of the mission, uh, story in short, we need to reach Confessor Dorian before the undeads kill him. These days it's kind of doable with a good hero team, but back in the days this was quite difficult in hard mode. Uh, speed boost is recommended of course, and also let the ghouls attack the white mantle knight to save precious time. Flag heroes on the road and kill mobs around Dorian as quickly as you can. Then there is a place called Shrine of Mending. Standing there gives HP regen. Because of this I like to flag heroes inside the ward, but not too close to each other.
Actually you can afk during this part completely, a good hero team will take care of the incoming undeads easily. It takes like 8 to 10 minutes, uh, but finally after many waves of skeletons and ghouls, a quest marker appears above Confessor Dorian and he informs that the white man remembered Dinas has found the scepter of ore and that you must retrieve it from him. After talking to Dorian, more fools will spawn and he may still die if left alone, causing mission failure. So always kill these undeads before continuing. Let's finish the bonus now, go out of the temple and go up the hills. There are a few groups of gypsy athens and oak hearts. Kill them quickly, then take back the offering to the shrine and the bonus is completed. The mission is close to its end now, go back to where you came from, kill some more Athens and continue on the road. There is a boss at the end, finish it, talk to Dinas and the mission is completed. And now a short quiz for you guys, what's the name of Benji's brother, write down your answers in a comment and I will give 25 vectors for the quickest free people. So guys this was for today, if you enjoyed the vid please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel, as always thanks for watching and see you next time.